In your everyday life, acceleration means speeding up. Um, but in here, the acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. All right, that's enough sitting. Let's do something else. In your original lab, in your original lab, did you roll a ball down a track? Yes, you did. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your stations in a second. You're going to take both boards with you. All right. You're going to eventually erase both boards, but you could erase the velocity graph. We don't need that one anymore. You're going to need the position graph for a minute. You're going to take your velocity graph, and you're going to draw, use a ruler, you're going to draw the track on there. Now, it's 220 centimeters, right? So measure it off and mark it off. So 0, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, I think. <laughs> Literally, I just changed my numbering system halfway through. <laughs> Zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220. Okay? Number it off, and then what you're going to do is you're going to draw the motion map. That's the dot and arrow picture. Right? Now, the key to this, first of all, if you do the dots in red, it'll be a little easier for everybody. Do all the dots before you draw any arrows. Do all the dots before you draw any arrows. And you're going to put them where they go based upon your position time data. Does that make sense? Then, when you go to draw an arrow, I like green, draw it about halfway from dot to dot. That's a good way to ensure that you're keeping a scale that makes some sense halfway from dot to dot. What should happen to your arrows as your ball goes down the ramp? They should get longer, true? Okay. You know what to do? Give. No. Yes. 